What's up guys, Juice Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. Today is Friday the 15th of July. I've got a fair amount to cover as we always do, as well as some very good rumors at the end guys. So before you start, as always, if you can smash 1,000 fires likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content in the comments below. Let me your thoughts on today's rumors, rumors I should do in the next episode. And if you missed yesterday's videos, they will be down below in that description box guys. Alternatively, you can check out my channel, ATMS Transfers, anywhere after 9 p.m. is the second video of the day. And you may I have missed yesterday's videos because YouTube trying like they kind of change the sub box uh, layout a little bit and I had a lot of people tweet me saying they couldn't find my video. So you can check that if you thought you missed the video or just couldn't find it. So let's start today off with the confirmed transfers. And first up, we've got Tom Bradshaw going to Barnsley. He's joined from Walsall on an undisclosed fee. He actually uh, handed a transfer request yesterday, I saw. And if I'm right, this is the guy on FIFA 12 that had four sus skill moves as a bronze card. And I'm pretty sure he linked to the likes of John Taylor. I think it is wrote out Shrewsbury. Now we go on to a uh, Horda Magnuson this time, a Icelandic centre back going to Bristol City from Juventus. I thought he had the same name as the guy from Game of Thrones there, but either way, he is joined for 2.13 million pounds from the Serie A club. Then we got on to a Vesterman this time, the German centre back, a Averin centre back, now 1983 is born, uh, going to Ajax for a free transfer, or on a free transfer, should I say, from Real Batiste. Then we got on to a, a guy, obviously a legend, Tim Cahill, a uh, player's not FIFA on the team this year, but I imagine he could be back next year because he's left the Chinese League team that he was at, which is going to be Hangzhou Greentown, to apparently go to Melbourne City. The Melbourne part isn't actually confirmed yet, but him being released by his Chinese club apparently is true. Then we go on to a guy, again another player, not a FIFA of the team. That is going to be Roger Martinez going to Jiangsu Suning for £7.57 million. And that is from Racing Club in the Primera División, which is the Argentinian League. And if I'm correct, uh, Jiangsu Suning and Inter Milan, they both have the same owners. So if I, if again, if I'm right on this one, I think he's gone to China. And if he does well, he'll then go to Inter Milan as like a stepping stone. So I think that's what the case is for this one, but don't quote me. And now we go to one I covered yesterday. That's going to be Juan Jesus of uh, now officially of Roma. It's a loan deal. Apparently they've paid 2 million euros to loan him for this season, but they have a compulsory purchase clause of 8 million euros should certain conditions be met before the deal ends on June the 30th, 2017. So by this time next year, they could have paid 10 million euros to get him, but that's not a bad fee. Of what I'm aware of, he's a decent defender. Then we go on to Patrick Cliver, actually becoming a new sporting director at Paris Saint-Germain. Well, the official job he's got is going to be called the director of football uh, of Paris Saint-Germain. So that's a very big step for him. Uh, I think he left Ajax to join that. Then we got on to uh, Dennis Odoi this time, a Belgian left back, looks pretty decent in game to be fair, going to Fulham. That's an undisclosed feat from Lockeren. Then we got on to Martin Skirtle, again, I covered this one yesterday, but it's all official now. Liverpool and Fenerbahce have both confirmed it for £5.5 million. And I have mentioned it multiple times, this guy was pretty damn awful for the last like two years, but other than that, was a fantastic uh, seventh for the club and played a lot of games for us. Then we got to another player leaving Liverpool. That's going to be Jordan Ibe. His move to Bournemouth has officially gone through for around £15 million. And it also has a buyback clause for Liverpool. The, the buyback clause fee hasn't been mentioned yet. Uh, some sites are saying like £30 million, but honestly, no idea whatsoever. And finally, we have got Mehdi Benatia going to Juventus. That is from Bayern Munich. But again, there will be an update in tomorrow's episode as long as it goes through. So that's a completed medical as Juventus have tweeted about it. And the final one is going to be a player that's not a fee for older team, if I am correct. And that's a player that's uh, actually been heavily suggested in the comments below by one particular person. I think it's called Tom Macy or Thomas Macy. So he keeps saying cover Frederick Jew going to Randers FC. Apparently the club he's joined from is going to HB Coach, I think the name is. The reason I covered it, I think he's mentioned it in like 14 straight videos. So apologies for not covering that one. Now we go into the potential deals. And first up, we've got James McCarthy linked to Stoke City. So according to Daily Mail, Stoke City are exploring the possibility of signing James McCarthy from Everton. The midfielder is currently unsure of his future under Ronald Koeman. That would be a very good signing for Stoke City to partner him next to the likes of Mbula. And I imagine he quite a bit of work there to be honest the fee nothing has been mentioned but imagine being a bpl club to bpl club it's probably like 15 million pounds plus then we got on to Guillermo Varea today, apparently on his way to Frankfurt from United. So kicker claimed the Bundesliga side Eintracht Frankfurt have made an initial approach for a loan move for the Uruguayan with a view to a permanent move under discussion. Although discussions are apparently at a preliminary stage uh, with the transfer far from completion. And you may remember how Frankfurt did get on loan the other day at Vallejo from Real Madrid. Now we go on to Darryl Yanmat today, linked to Watford. According to the Daily Mail, Watford have been told by Newcastle that Darryl Yanmat will cost them £10 million if they want to sign him this summer. So that £10 million adds on top of the £25 million they want for Junior Van Aldum, the £35 million they want for Sissoko. So, in total, for them three players alone, they want £70 million. I remember they've already sold Andros Townsend to Crystal Palace for £13 million as well. 
Then we go on to Michael Keane today. A player's been linked to Leicester City a hell of a lot, and apparently now Leicester are going to make a £15 million offer for him. So the source this one is going to be the Metro, which uh, I'm not going to lie, they're not very reliable whatsoever, but it does seem this could be the case. Um, it may not be the correct fee or whatever, but it, it looks like it could happen. So they are saying that apparently Champions Leicester could make a final £15 million bid to sign defender Michael Keane from Burnley. So they've had, I think it's £10 million pounds and £11 million pounds rejected so far, and £15 million, pounds, that is the highest they'll go. He also turned down a new contract offer from Burnley just last week. Then we go on to Nivan Supertic today, linked to Middlesbrough again. So according to the Gazette, they're saying that Middlesbrough have submitted a work permit application for Nivan Supertic after agreeing a 10 million euro fee, 8.3 million pounds, uh, the deal with Borussia Dortmund to sign the defender. And despite him not being too fantastic over the last like two seasons or so, I imagine it'll still be a quite decent deal for Middlesbrough. Then we go on to Alex Song today, linked to Juventus. So Juve are lining up a move for out of favour Barcelona midfielder Alex Song, according to Calcio Mercato. The former Arsenal West Ham player is back in the new camp after spending last season on loan at Upton Park, but he doesn't fit in to lose Enrique's plans. And that has now opened the door to Serie A champion Juve to make the move for the 28 year old who is under contract at Barca until next season. And now according to the Guardian, quite a short one here, that's in the Burnley hope to complete the signing of £1 million rated Crystal Palace midfielder Lee Chong Young. That's literally all it says, nothing else on top of that one, but again, it could be a Burnley target. Then we go on to uh, Nacho Fernandez today. Yes, I mentioned how Roma were in for him, but now apparently he's very close to making the switch. And according to Gazetta della Sport, the agreement between all parties could be finalised in the next few hours after the player's agent, Jose Segui, I think his name is, met Roma officials at their club offices on Wednesday. At first, it looked like it would be a loan deal, but now apparently, after the discussions, it will be 11 million euros, which is 9.2 million pounds to Real Madrid, and the defender will earn around 2 million euros a season, which is 1.7 mil. And imagine the reason they're signing Nacho and also Juan Jesus is the fact that it looks like Manlas could could be on his way out. Then we go on to Donnarumma today of AC Milan. So according to Gazzetta dello Sport, 17 year old goalkeeper Gianluigi Donnarumma is set to sign a contract extension with AC Milan until 2019. He has heavily been linked to a move away to likes of Chelsea and stuff, but looks like he will commit his future at AC Milan. And I'm just thinking 2019, he'll just be 20 years old by then. And that is bad to think of. Now we go on to Joel Campbell, a player that he started like kind of breaking out to the Arsenal team a little bit last season, then died off completely. Apparently now going to Valencia. Estadio Deportivo is saying Valencia have made an inquiry to the availability of Arsenal forward Joel Campbell, though they could face competition from AC Man for a signature. And now according to Daily Mail, Man City are considering a move for Bayern Munich defender Joshua Kimmich, or midfielder defender, he plays multiple positions, and apparently the Premier League outfit is set to start the bidding at £20 million. And I know Pep Guardiola is a massive fan of this guy, and it wouldn't surprise you whatsoever to see him going with the bid. Then we go on to a Yusuf Sabai today linked to Sunderland from Paris Saint-Germain. So according to Daily Mail, Sunderland are considering a move for Arsenal defender Matthew Debushi, but are more likely to sign Paris Saint-Germain's youngster Yusuf Sabali on a season-long loan. And speaking about Sunderland, we've now got a player that's currently owned by them but was out on loan last season. That is going to be Emmanuel Giaccherini, who's quite good at Euro 2016 to be fair to him, and today linked to Napoli. So according to Sky Sports Italia, Emmanuel Giaccherini has sealed a switch from Sunderland to Napoli, which could be officially announced in the coming weeks. So this one's probably a while off now, but it's like it could be all we done and Chelsea were initially linked to him just two weeks ago and I imagine the fee is just like two to three million pounds what they were asking for. Now we're going to Luciano Vieta today linked to Barcelona from Atletico Madrid. So the first part is according to AS they're saying that Barca have reached an agreement a verbal agreement that is to sign Atletico Madrid prospect Luciano Vieto. and also according to Mundo Deportiva and Sport they're saying that Barca boss Luis Enrique has been keen to sign a forward to act as backup for Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez and Neymar for several months now and has identified Vieto as an ideal target. Vieto is open to a move to Barcelona and now it looks like they just got a reach an agreement between the two clubs and he's set to join them on a loan deal. And now according to France football, Leicester City are weighing up an offer for severe defender Adel Rami with the France international open to a move to the Premier League champions. And if Kante stays, there would be a hype link to him and also Mendy their new signing. Now we go on to Nemanja Matic there. Apparently, he's going to be staying at Chelsea. So according to the Daily Mail, Chelsea have told Nemanja Matic they want to keep him in the club despite interest from United and Juventus. And I imagine it'll be very pivotal for Conte, especially if he's at three at the back formation or potentially a 4-4-2. Then we go on to Mario Goethe today. Apparently, he is going to Borussia Dortmund now, not coming to the Premier League. It also includes the next man, which is going to be Andre Schoeller, the former Chelsea man. So today, according to Kicker, less than Borussia Dortmund have agreed a five-year deal with Wolfsburg midfielder Andre Schoeller. And they also mentioned how Borussia Dortmund are up in their interest in the top man Liverpool target Mario Goethe to re-sign him from Bayern Munich. I'd be very interested to see what kind of reception he actually got from the fans, because obviously he left them in a very bad way, and I know a lot of people called him a traitor and stuff, so again, it'd be very interesting to see that one. Then we go on to, it's going to be Moussa Soko, another player linked to Borussia 
Borussia Dortmund. So according to Shields Gazette, Borussia Dortmund are way up a move for Newcastle midfielder Moussa Sissoko after his impressive performances for France at Euro 2016. But if the papers were true the other day, they have to fork up £35 million to get him. Then we got into Kadu Koulibaly, recently linked to likes of Chelsea and Everton, but apparently now Bayern Munich want him. So according to Sky Sports Italia, with Medi Benatia on his way to Juventus, Bayern Munich have joined the race to sign Napoli centre-back Kadu Koulibaly. And I imagine if he has the offers from Everton, Chelsea, as well as Bayern, he will choose Bayern over the Premier League clubs, although the contract from uh, Everton and Chelsea could be a little bit higher potentially. Then we got on to Antoine Griezmann, and this one isn't going to happen, but apparently PSG have made a bid for him. So according to Antoine Griezmann's representatives, they're revealing that PSG made an offer for the Atletico start this summer. He finished top goal scorer at Euro 2016 but that could not help France win the tournament itself so he has lost the Champions League final and Euro 2016 final in just a month and a half. So about three weeks ago he did sign a new contract at Atletico Madrid for about five years I think it was until 2021. Speaking to RMC, Griezmann's agent has come out and said there was an offer from PSG but it will continue at Atletico Madrid it's 100% certain. And now finally we move on to Alvaro Morata who's already made one switch this summer from Juve back to Real Madrid. And according to radio stations in Spain, Real Madrid have already for Morata it will stay at the club this summer. So despite Risi being linked to the likes of Chelsea and Arsenal, he will stay at Real Madrid and apparently Morata will cut his vacation short in order to return to club duty. So he's obviously very keen to make a good impression at Madrid for a second time. So there we have it guys, there's been all the potential transfers as well as confirmed stuff at the very beginning. So as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, 1,500 likes would be absolutely awesome. If you to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily feed for content, the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumours, rumours I should do in the next episode. And again, if you missed yesterday's videos, let me down below in that description box. Make sure to keep an eye out for it because the sub boxes it may play up a little bit at the moment, guys. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.